great as we out here. Shade 45. This is another grind set. Is. Let me tell you something. First of all, shout out to everybody out there in Philly. It's family out there. 215, what's up? Largo, what's good? But I want to tell you something. And my guest doesn't even know this. You are the first woman to be on the show for 2021. Drew, please give us some applause, man. That's give us some sad. applause. We got, in fact, let's all just clap That's it up. It. First sad. woman. 2021 up here on Grind Setters. Everybody, you got to give a round of applause for Q. She's in the motherfucking building. Or better yet, let me put some respect on her name. Q to the motherfucking dub. <laughs> All right, let's be clear about that right there. What up, Q? How's everything? Everything is good. I'm glad everything you was able everything. to make it over here, man. Not, not that Philly is far away. What was the ride like? Look, like How long it took you to get from where you were at to out here? I want to say... Hour 45. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers be scared to come out here for some reason, man. Just wear your mask and drive safely. You'll be all right, man. Uh -huh. Make it up here so you can talk to these millions of people like Q is right now. <laughs> Let's talk about this music real f First of all, let me say this. She's from Philly. All right? South Philly, to be mm -hmm. exact. All right. So don't fuck with Q. All right? I'm going to be clear with you on that one right there. She will fuck you up. I feel like she got a good hook. Look up Bernard Hopkins. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But how'd you get into music, Q? Um, I've always... I've always been a writer, number one. Like, um, was I've been like writing poetry? ever since I was. It started with that. Okay. It started with that. Um, my life was hectic, so a way for me to cope was that I I wrote about my experiences and I wrote it down as a way to make me feel better. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it turned into rhymes, turned into rap. Um, I feel as though rap is easy if you rapping about yourself and your experiences and stuff like that. So it wasn't hard for me. Um. It's in my heart for real. Mm -hmm. so. I wish more people understood that part of it, like the passion part. Yeah. You know, when it's, it's real heart. and it's authentic, it's easier to tell your story mm -hmm. than you out here faking some capping shit. And yeah. then everybody be like, nigga, what are you talking about right now, man? <laughs> right. You know, something that, that stood out to me besides your music was your IG name. And I just want to make sure I have this correctly. Rob the Rich 24. Right. And I'm like, oh shit! What did I? What have we gotten ourselves <laughs> into Rob right here? Rich. Explain the IG name real quick, because you said something when we came into the studio, and it made total sense. Yeah, rob the rich and feed yourself. You know, like Robin Hood. You take from the rich, you feed the poor. The same, same concept. Mm -hmm. You take from them, feed yourself. Ain't nobody gonna give it to you. You gotta be focused uh, out and there. And the 24 part. That's you know, Kobe was my favorite basketball player. Yeah. So. Yeah. What was the, the the last you know last yeah, I think everybody's still been in a in a haze. Like, yo, this is crazy that this even happened to somebody like him. Mm -hmm. Knowing where we come from, you from Philly, me from Harlem, and the Bronx, actually the Bronx and Harlem, we lose people every day. But right. the way it happened for him was just it hurt so many people. How did you it deal did. with it? I I almost cried. I got the I didn't even want to watch the TV. Mm -hmm. Kobe's my my favorite basketball player is Kobe AI. They my favorite too. Both Philly Always. ties. Both so, Philly ties. Yeah. <laughs> so like I couldn't I couldn't even watch the TV, but I'm a LeBron fan too though. So mm -hmm. like a not a Lakers fan, LeBron fan. Just to make it clear, wherever he play, I guess that's my team. I guess. So but, when, when well, you know, and not to get off the topic of Kobe because everybody's still dealing with it, but you know, how do you deal with? LeBron, who plays for the Lakers right now, Kobe played for the Lakers, and now Philly, the 76 has recently beat the Lakers. Right. That's a good night for you? Yeah, I love this. All right, I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I mean, it's too bad for him, but... We, it I had to be chip. you, Bron Bron. Right. I see the chip <laughs> this year. I keep saying that to everybody. I see the chip this year for us. All right. Well, I like shit. If you like it, I love it. All right. <laughs> I, I can't say shit because my New York Knicks, E, don't laugh over here when I say my New York Knicks ain't doing shit out here right now. <laughs> but it's all about Q. She up here. We're going to get into this music. I want to start off. We'll hold it down. We're going to play that. I want you to give real time feedback for you. So hit her up right now. IG, Rob the Rich 24. Again, that's Rob, T H A T H A, Rich 24. And of course, hit us up at Great Rizzy, at Shade 45. It's a grind setters. Let's get it. Great Rizzy, we out here. Shade 45, grind setters in full effect. Q is in the building. Philly stand up 215. Don't be scared. Go ahead and hit us up at Shade 45 at Great Rizzy at Rob the Rich 24. That's T H A 
two four man the rich two four so um tell me a little bit about your style like i know that you got into rap pretty much and the music part of it through the poetry and just you know release therapeutic mm -hmm. but tell me about your style now you know like that was then i'm sure part of it is still there yeah but you know i'm listening to your balls they packing a punch man <laughs> like how <laughs> would you, you describe that well like i like i said i try to like I said in the beginning, if I can't do this as me, I don't want to do it. I have like this, people say I remind them like the stories I tell. People say I remind them like a female version of Biggie Smalls. I've heard that a lot, a whole lot. Um, that's a hell of a compliment. Yeah, that's what I say. And like I my style, I think is, I think I got, because I don't sound like women in hip hop today. I don't sound like them. Mm -hmm. I don't sound like Megan. I don't sound like Cardi. I don't sound like them city girls. So the fact I I remind myself is more of like a, the way I tell my story, my style, it's just it's just real, man. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all I want to be is real. You know, I'll tell you what you when I listen to your music what I hear. I feel like somebody is sitting me down telling me a story. But it's not it's 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 like the calmest I'm a fuck you up story I've ever heard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to walk you through this shit. This is what's going to happen. And you fucked with the wrong one. This is what it is right now. And right. It, it's just, when you say real, it's like you paint this story, like you walk people down this this line mm. to get them to a particular place. And it, it seems like you have that craft of being able to deliver that each and every time. Sometimes, you know, you got me. There's, there's different music for different people out there nowadays. And, you know, if you like it, I love it, whatever. But for most people don't have that talent to be able to tell a story thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And you seem to have that. Was there anybody in particular who did that for you, whether it be an artist? Uh, you know, sometimes people get in the studio together and you have someone who's able to not write your rhymes, but help you craft, you know, your storytelling. Was right. there anybody um, in particular? As far as you mean, like my inspiration, like as far as people it I listen to? It could be inspiration to? that you listen to, but also possibly people that you work with, production team, you know, anything like that. Well, I'm really, I'm really, really new to this. So I haven't worked with anybody yet. Um, but as far as like people, people that I like to listen to, like I like to listen to that party stuff, just like the next person. But when I'm in my car, I want I listen to to real, like I'm listening to Jada Kiss. I'm listening to, you know, the Blueprint. I'm listening to, you know, I'm listening to Mac. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm from South Philly. Mm -hmm. I I still bump with your Mac, life like, bitch. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like right. I still I right. still bump that, mm -hmm. you know. So I guess when it comes to that, because those are the people that I listen to, like female MCs. I listen to, you know, Eve and her prom. I listen to Remy and her prom. You know, Lil' Kim in her prom. Mm -hmm. You know, this... I think what's missing in hip-hop today is, like... I don't like with... I don't even know how to say this, but I don't I don't like what females got to say nowadays as far as mainstream. Do you think it's too... Uh, they might keep themselves in a box versus, you know, speaking about a whole bunch of different topics and a whole bunch of different things? There's so much to talk about nowadays. What is it one particular thing that you don't like about it? I don't like how I don't like the fact that I think it's like keep them naked and keep them dumb. That's what it looks like to me. Like when I watch, when I listen to what's what's being played mainstream. Like I listen to a lot of underground stuff mm -hmm. back home. I listen to people that's unsigned. I listen to people that's I think that's better than what's on the radio today. Mm. So like that's that's what I see. That's what like my nieces and my little sisters is looking at. When you when I watch like MTV jams and all of that, you know, I just feel like you know you see them naked. You see them get this man, get some money. Hey, your own money. Mm -hmm. Do your own thing. Mm -hmm. Move your own way. You don't gotta you don't gotta be with him to be rich. It's a million ways to make money. You see what I'm saying? So like, that I think that's my message. Right. And that's the message that I want. For for women, like, yo. You know, and, and you saying that right now, it's the, um what I get from it is, again, there's something for everybody that's out there. And if that's how you're getting your money, cool. But you, Q, you're going to be the person 
that makes that right turn off that whatever that is mm -hmm. come see what's over here right come get this over here so salute to everybody that's doing their thing but you got to get in tune with this cute shit over here cute to the motherfucking dub look, <laughs> all right? look we are getting some music i'm gonna play some mac shout out to beanie siegel that's family right there shout out to jada kiss that's also family right there and uh who else can we play let me see give me one more what else you want to play uh I don't know. Play, I don't know. Play some Eve in her prime. Ooh, pit bull, pit bull in a skirt. I almost forgot about that. Shout out to <laughs> Eve Eve, man. Let's go ahead and get it. It's great, Rizzy. We out here. Q's in the building. It's a grind set of shape. 45. <laughs> Warning. I always wanted to say that. I don't know why. Shout out to Camillo. <laughs> I just wanted to say it. Plus, I'm about to get into that in a second. But first of all, we got Q in the building representing the 215. Philly, what's going on? Does, does Philly have another area code? Yeah, I have other every codes other than two one five, right? Or is it just two one five? No, it's if just somebody two, two six seven. Two, two six, six seven? seven? Yeah. But y'all don't look at them phone numbers the same way. You don't look at that area code the same yeah, way, right? Two six seven. That's like when somebody from New York, like you know, we're seven one eight, two one two, six four six, three four seven. And now they got some nine nine one seven. They got like the nine two nine and people be like, eh, <laughs> you must have just moved here. I don't really know about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why the fuck I started talking about area codes, but two one five. You got to know about that right there. So, I mean, what's the what's what's your comp? I don't even want to say competition. I, I hate when people feel like they have to be competitive with the, each other, especially on the come up. Like you have to prove yourself. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but you should be worried about you, not worried about what other people are doing. But how would you? You know, what 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 is the scene looking like for women, femcs out there in Philly right now? It's looking good. It's a it's a lot of it's a lot. Philly got a lot of talent. A whole Absolutely. lot of talent. And I've heard women that's I heard women out there that sound better than men. It's it, as far as the female tip, it's looking real good. I mean, you got me and you got a whole lot of other women out there that's doing their thing. I love the way she put that. Hold and, on. E, you caught that, E? <laughs> I mean, you got me. And you got a whole lot of other women. I love it. I love yeah. it. Y'all better man, see that that's some that's some media training one on one shit right here. You gonna stay focused on me, Gray Rizzy. All right, well, I'm here right here in front of you. But that that's dope, man. Now, how are you dealing with it when it comes to you know just being able to maneuver in a pandemic? Um, These are weird times, man. It is. The fact that you're you know you're getting through it just shows how focused you are. But it's mm -hmm. I, I I I just don't know how. That's why I'm asking right now. I mean, it, it is hard, especially for me because I have asthma. So if they say people like me, I'm supposed to stay in. 24 or 7 mm -hmm. like I'm not supposed to do anything but I think this really brought out the hustle in me you know this is closed I got it that, sh that store closed I got it this closed I got it like you see what I'm mm -hmm. saying so mm -hmm. I've, I've never been no stranger to hard work mm -hmm. I watch my mother work 2-3 jobs at a time I've I, I ain't never been no stranger to no hard work. By hook or crook, man, we gonna get it. <laughs> for real. about that. The um, what's the next couple of steps for you? Because you know, I have these two singles right here, and I know that you know there's a project on the way. But do you have like a particular time? Are we dropping something new? You know? Yeah, I'm constantly writing and working. Mm -hmm. Um, I just recently found this producer that I want to work with. Um, that's that's really been hindering me finding somewhere to record mm -hmm. because just because you got a studio that don't mean you a producer just because you you may make beats that don't mean you can make beats so it's like i really do my research before i do things and i think that's what is taking me i'm not gonna say that's what's taking me long but i like to look in the stuff before I, I do it right. so just because you got a camera that don't mean you can shoot video show me something that you shot and I'll see what I want to do with that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they producers love to work with me because it don't take me that long to record because I don't listen to the radio. Why? Because you you subconsciously remember things. You start spitting that same shit back. Yeah, yep. like when you listen to the radio, I didn't, you can, without even realizing it, you memorize this and that. That's why I don't because the only mem lyrics I want to remember are mine. Mm -hmm. So when I'm in the studio, put the beat on, I, I record in like 20 minutes. The rest of my time go to mixing it and busting it down. And that's why people, they be like, yo, you be in and out. And mm -hmm. I be like, yeah, because the only lyrics I know is mine. I don't have a cell phone. I go in there with my notebooks, but I don't crack them open. I just carry them for good luck. But... <laughs> 
That's that's it. <laughs> you got a hell of a process, man. For someone who just you know kind of who, who's just embark starting to embark and start your journey, mm-hmm. you sound like a fucking vet to me, man. I, I'm about to take some of what you you ever been on Clubhouse? You been on Clubhouse yet? Mm-mm. You know about Clubhouse? Yeah, I heard you know I heard Shit. a few conversations. I'm about man. to sign you up because man, you you go ahead and give a lot of these motherfuckers some jewels. And look, you just walked into it, but that just shows once again. When you're focused and you know where you want to go, it's easier for you to get there. Mm-hmm. All right. Look, what I want everybody to do, because I know you're listening right now from New York City to Philly to across the entire country. I want you to tap in with Q real quick. So let them know your Instagram, Twitter, website, whatever you Instagram, have. Let's promote that. At Rob the Rich 24. Hold it down. The realest song you ever hear. Warning. One of the hottest songs you ever That's That's like a, a banger type John. Like that's my favorite John. I smile when I talk about it because that's that's another John that I recorded in like ten minutes. Mm-hmm. I recorded that quick. He busted down when I left. I had a finished project, so I love go go stream that. You gonna love it. It's the best. Make all sh- my music is the best. Like, Make sure you go ahead and tap in with it. that man. And you know when she said when she started smiling, I love that John. You know it's Philly affiliated <laughs> official. <laughs> God damn, dog. Look, man, we about to get out into this song. Actually, we're about to get into warning right now. But look, if you just got in your car and you want you know you recognize that accent. Yes, she is from Philly, South Philly to South be exact. Philly. All right. Make sure you go ahead and tap in with us on demand. SiriusXM.com slash on demand. Or download the SiriusXM app. All right. Download this shit right here and listen to it on demand. All right. All you gotta do is search Q. Gray Rizzy, Shade 45, listen to it on your time on demand. It's another grind setters. I appreciate you, Q, for coming out here. Thank you. I appreciate I'm I'm happy to be here. I'm yeah. happy to be talking about it. Well, I got the funny happy feeling. We, we going to be making that trip to 215 to come check for Q next time we out there. All right? <laughs> Look, man, have a good one. Turn this up. It's warning. Best believe we out here. Whoa. Peace.